A fight between two primates. You versus gorilla. You, as in the average human, as in a weakling, sorry. And gorilla, as in one of the biggest, most powerful living primates. Fully grown silverback gorillas are actually stronger than 20 adult humans combined. Yeah. Wait, why are they fighting again? Oh yeah, we humans have this pathological need to prove some point who's stronger, who's more powerful, in a few words, to feed our ego. So obviously the gorilla probably wouldn't be interested in fighting the human in the first place. They know they're stronger. They don't need to prove anything. But once again, let's do this hypothetical fight for the sake of our human ego. So would a gorilla actually be a danger to us? Well, if it weren't for our prefrontal cortex, we'd be toast. But let's see how the rest goes. In this episode of Human vs. Gorilla, Size. The gorilla is robust and powerful, with a thick, strong chest and a protruding abdomen. The face has large nostrils, small ears, and prominent brow ridges. Males are about twice as heavy as females and may attain a height of about 1.7 meters and a weight of 135 to 220 kilograms. On top of that, their arm spans up to 1.6 meters, almost their whole size. Adult human males, also usually bigger and taller than females, are 1.8 meters tall, which yes, in theory, does make us taller. But considering the mass and overall size, of course gorillas are bigger. First point to gorilla. Running speed. Can a man outrun a gorilla? The simple answer is yes. The top speed achieved by people in any life or death situation is 28 miles per hour. The top speed of a silverback gorilla is 24 miles per hour. Yay! Points to you, human! Well, thank God we have this one, because to my logic, best way to confront a gorilla is to not, so just run away. Wait. In a few words, the gorilla can just sit on your head and we'll be done with this fight. But okay, you want the facts. I know our capabilities, guys. I'm just saying they can just sit on you. It's also funny to watch. So the average gorilla weighs up to 220 kilograms compared to the average human, which is around 60 to 62 kilograms. So if we're just talking numbers, gorillas win this one too. Mouth strength. The average strength of a human bite is 162 pounds per square inch, PSI, which is possible to crush a pistachio shell? Well, beware of the beast. Now I purposely started with this fact. It'll make what's coming next more fun. The gorilla, can you guess? It's not so much the teeth, but the massive neck and jaw muscles that give the gorilla one of the strongest bite forces in the primate kingdom. Gorilla bite force goes up to 1300 PSI, which is much higher than that of a great white shark and a freaking lion. So it's pistachio shell versus, well, if we're naming things, your head. You make the math, guys. Gorilla's up for one more point. Physical strength. Research shows that a gorilla can lift up to 27 times their full body weight. As per Guinness Book of World Records, a silverback gorilla can lift up to 815 kilograms. That's 1,800 pounds. To give you a picture, they can lift this guy with no problem. As for the human, guess they'll just have to slap you out of the way. The human limit of strength ranges from 600 to 1,000 pounds, 270 to 460 kilograms. Now, how hard can a gorilla punch? It's believed that a gorilla punch is strong enough to shatter your skull with one slam of its arm, between 1,300 and 2,700 pounds of force. Compared to humans, the average untrained person can throw a punch anywhere from 60 to 85 PSI, but a train striker can generate quite a bit more force they strike within the range of 194 to 336 PSI. Not bad at all, but not good enough to win this round. One more point to the gorillas. Lifespan. Wild gorillas live between 35 and 40 years with some captive gorillas living almost 50 years. Using the human genome, the researchers found that the maximum natural lifespan of humans is also 38 years, 
which matches anthropological estimates of lifespan in early modern humans. The current life expectancy of humans, though, is 78.99 years. That gives us another point. Diet Although many humans choose to eat both plants and meat, earning us the dubious title of omnivore, we're anatomically herbivorous. Whereas gorillas stick to a mainly vegetarian diet, feeding on stems, bamboo shoots, and fruits, western lowland gorillas, however, also have an appetite for ants, so the only limited amounts of protein that they consume comes from insects such as ants or termites. As roaming herbivores, gorillas play a key role in maintaining the biodiversity of their forest homes by spreading the seeds of the trees they eat and by opening up gaps in the trees as they move around, letting in light and helping sun-loving plants grow. Many large fruit trees depend on these animals to survive. I think that's more than enough to give them this point. Teamwork Much like humans who work and have worked together since our early ancestors, Gorillas are also social animals that live in groups. A gorilla group usually has a harem structure of an adult male or silverback living together with several adult females and their offspring. Usually an adult over 12 years of age and the strongest becomes the master since it has the greatest responsibility to protect all members of his group. Both species live in families and take responsibility for each other's safety. In this round, one point for each. Instincts Our fight or flight reaction may be our best known expression of our survival instinct. This response set is triggered when we, or any animal, perceive a situation as a threat to our existence. Our sympathetic nervous system activates rapid emotional, psychological, and physical changes. The fight or flight response plays a critical role in how we deal with stress and danger in our environments. Your heart rate gets faster, which increases oxygen flow to your major muscles, your pain perception drops, and your hearing sharpens. This is an instinct that's present in both humans and gorillas. What do you think our response would be? Would we fight or flee? This round two, one point for each. Intelligence. As we can see, gorillas are way, way stronger than humans. They're also highly intelligent. Gorillas, like other apes, use sticks as tools to forage for food. Observing tool use in animals is exciting because it highlights similarities between humans and other members of the animal kingdom in terms of problem-solving skills and dexterity. As long as humans didn't have a weapon, we wouldn't stand a chance, but we do. We do have weapons. If we don't, we'll make it. We're one of the most intelligent species on Earth. Our ability to make complex plans and then communicate that plan to others is the biggest combat advantage one can possibly have. Our vast communicative abilities have allowed humans to create civilizations with complex rules, develop rigorous ways to study the way the universe truly runs, and manipulate that information in incredible ways. One very strong point to the humans. If we're talking humans versus gorillas, just this point gives us the whole win. But one-on-one, -on -one, man versus a gorilla? As the results show, the winner is the gorilla. We have no concept of how weak we are compared to other animals who hunt for their food. It is idiotic to even try and befriend most animals. We can encounter bears in the woods, even feed them, and they'll respect our space if we respect theirs. But when we start entering into the who would win realm, humans take the L every freaking time. So who are you cheering for? Do you think the fight was fair? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, here's two others you might also like. For more videos like this one, subscribe to our channel. See you next time.